Hello and welcome to this Kasambi tutorial. In this video, we'll explain the differences between two types of firmware grade and network type available for Kasambi system, Classic and Evolution. Classic is the original Kasambi firmware and network type. Evolution is the latest version and supports all Classic functionality along with new features. Due to memory limitations in the original processor, we upgraded our hardware and developed Evolution to enable us to introduce new features and functionality. The main difference between Classic and Evolution is that Classic networks can have a maximum of 127 Kasambi ready products, whereas an Evolution network can have up to 250 devices. Evolution networks also support a wider variety of device types and have additional features such as new security and sharing settings. The majority of devices available today are using the updated processor and are capable to function both as part of a Classic or Evolution network. It is not possible to mix Classic and Evolution devices to the same network, but in most cases it's possible to change between firmware grades. Identification of a Classic and Evolution device can be done simply by checking the device information visible in the nearby devices screen in the Kasambi app. Any device that mentions Classic or Evolution next to the firmware version number is capable of working as either a Classic or Evolution device. Devices that only show the firmware version number has the older processor and can be used only in Classic networks. To be able to change the firmware grade on a device, it needs to be in an unpaired state, which means it's not part of any network. The unit can be then selected from the nearby devices list and you will be presented with options available for that device. To change the firmware grade, simply change to Classic or Evolution and follow the instructions. Once the firmware grade change has been completed, the device can be paired to a network of a similar type. Existing Classic networks can be changed to an Evolution network as long as all devices are compatible with Evolution firmware. This process is complex and time-consuming, so it's advised not to update unless there is a real requirement to add more than 127 devices to the network or take advantage of any new features that are only available for Evolution. In the majority of cases for a classic network that has already been programmed and is working correctly, there is no benefit of updating it. There isn't a possibility to change an entire evolution network to a classic network, and this shouldn't be needed. However, if for some reason this is desired, then the only way to do it is to unpair every device from the evolution network, change the firmware grade of each device one at a time, and then create and program a new classic network. Further information can be found from our support website and in our app user guide. You can also sign up for our free online training courses on our website. Thanks for watching.